Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see a very important topic that is outlier detection methods through which we can rectify how the outliers are present in the data set and which are they. Outlier detection methods, whether user label the example of an outlier can be obtained, that can be supervised, that can be semi-supervised, or that can be unsupervised methods. Assumption about the normal data and outliers can be rectified using statistical method, proximity-based, and the clustering-based methods. First is supervised method. A modeling outlier detection as a classification problem. Samples examined by the domain expert used for training and testing. Now, methods for learning a classifier for the outlier detection effectively. A model normal objects and a report those not matching the model as an outlier. Or model outliers and a thread those not matching the model as a challenge. Third challenges which we are facing while working with a supervised model are first is imbalanced classes that is outlier are a rare, boost the outlier class and make up some artificial outliers, catch as many outliers as possible that is recall is more important than the accuracy that is not mislabeling normal objects as a outlier. So these are the challenges we face while working with a supervised method. Second is unsupervised method. Unsupervised method as in the normal objects are somewhat cluster into the multiple groups, each having some distinct features. An outlier is expected to be a far away from any group of normal object. So weakness R cannot detect the collective outliers effectively. Normal objects may not share any strong patterns, but the collective outliers may share the high similarity in a small area. Many clustering method can be adapted for unsupervised method. Find clusters and then outliers not belonging to any cluster that is called as a outliers that is called as a unsupervised method the challenges which we face while working with the unsupervised methods are in some intrusion or a virus detection the normal activities are diverse see unsupervised method may have some high false positive rate but still miss many real outliers. A supervised methods can be more effective, for example, identify the attacking some key resources. The challenges are hard to distinguish the noise from the outlier, costly since first clustering, but far less outliers than the normal object. Newer method that is tackle the outliers directly with the help of unsupervised technologies. Third type is semi-supervised. In many applications, the number of labeled data is often small. Labels could be on outliers only, normal objects only or both. If some labeled normal objects are available, Use the label example and approximate the unlabeled objects to train a model for a normal object. Those not fitting the model of a normal object are detected as an outlier. If only some label outliers are available, a small number of label outliers may not cover the possible outliers well. To improve the quality of an outlier detection, one can get the help from the models for a normal object, learn from the unsupervised methods. Some pros and cons of unsupervised methods are effectiveness of a statistical methods, 
that is highly depend on whether the assumption of a statistical model holds the real data. Fourth type is proximity based method. In a proximity based method, an object is an outlier if the nearest neighbor of the objects are far away. That is, the proximity of the object is significantly divides from the proximity of a most of the other object in a same data set. See, this is my data set. Fine. So, whichever is the nearest, we are calculating those are our data set. But whichever is a far away, that we can collect as an outlier. So, depend on the Euclidean distance, we say this is a proximity best method. Some pros and cons are the effectiveness of a proximity based method highly relies on the proximity measures. In some application, proximity or a distance measures cannot be obtained easily. Often have a difficulty in identifying a group of outliers that stay close to each other. Two major types of proximity based outliers detection methods are first is distance bet and second is density based. Fifth type is clustering based method. In a clustering based method, the normal data belongs to the large and dense clusters. So whereas outliers belongs to a small or a sparse cluster or do not belong to any cluster, that type of method is cluster analysis. So see, this is my one cluster. So after this, whatever the data is present, that is my outlier I can see. The challenges which we face is, since there are many clustering methods, there are many clustering based outlier detection models as well. So clustering is an expensive, straightforward adoption of a clustering method for the outlier detection can be costly and does not scale up well for the large data set. So in this video, we have seen total five outlier methods and the challenges which it's going to face each and every time. Thank you.